Thanks, Kate. So I'm Marie Helen Morel, and I love sharing the stories of creative people. I'm a creative person myself, and I've always loved making things with my hands, so it, it's natural that I would appreciate what other people make with their hands. And so I've been doing that. I've been telling the stories of creative people through my site created here. Um, and it's more than just a website, it's a, it's a project, really. And it all started uh, a couple years ago when I ran into an old friend at, at a craft fair in Fredericton. And I hadn't seen him in 10 years, and there he was with a booth, and he is now a glass artist with his wife. And I was just amazed, and I oohed and awed over his pieces and asked him all about, well, how did you get here? You know, how did you get from gangly teenager to glass artist? And um, I could have talked to him all day about his journey and about uh, how he got there and, and why he chose this path. And I just, I found it fascinating. And it kind of opened my eyes to everyone else who was there. I kind of looked around and I was like, I wonder what their story is, you know? And I got really curious. And that night, um, it just kept going through my head. I said, you know, what if I hadn't have been there? It just so happened that I was in Fredericton. It just so happened that I had someone to watch my kids that I could go down and walk around. What if I hadn't have been there? I, I wouldn't have found out about um, this friend of mine who is now an artist and wouldn't have seen the other work that I'd seen. Um, and so I got thinking, you know, I can't be the only one who loves New Brunswick art and craft, but just can't get to all those places or doesn't know where to go or what to look for. And so I, I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to see if there's something out there, like a website or something out there, a way that I can discover artists. And if not, maybe I can create something. And I couldn't sleep that night with the wheels turning and the ideas coming. And so from there, I, I just started talking to people. Um, Kate was actually one of the first people that I, that I reached out to and said, what do you think of this kind of idea? And, and she was very, very supportive. And uh, I just started writing down ideas and going with it. And um, so last September, I launched the website, createdhere.ca. Um, and I have since interviewed about 25 artists, gone into their studios and listened to their stories and taken photos and really get a behind the scenes look of their process and um, you know why they make their work and how they make their work. Because to me, that's, that's a really important way to, to appreciate someone's work rather than just seeing it on a wall. You know, if you know their, their story and their soul, then you can really have an appreciation for their work and the price tag that goes with it, right? Because it's not, it's not Walmart, it's not winners, <laughs> but, but it means a lot more. Um, oh, and there's also um, a section where you can just discover artists. They each have a page with photo of them and the photos of their work. Um, and whatever information um, that is available about them. So if you're looking for a jeweler in Fredericton, then you can search for jeweler in Fredericton and it'll pull up whoever is, is there. Um, and so those are the two kind of components of the site so far, the stories and um, the directory. And everything is bilingual. And for me, that's really important because I'm Francophone and I've grown up here in you know the St. John region, which is, as you all know, primarily Anglophone. And so it's really important to me to have that kind of crossover and that inter interaction between um, our two cultures. Because um, there really isn't that much, if you admit it. Um, you know, I don't know very much about a lot of the Francophone artists because they, you know, they live a few hours away and, and I just don't really know what's going on there. And so that's one of my goals is to, is to kind of expand that and to talk to more French-speaking artists and uh, get to know their their stories too. And actually I just, last week I did my first interview in French and it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so my main goal is to, is to find artists and to share their story. And so I'm exploring some new ways of doing that because a website is one thing and, but not everyone sees it, not everyone gets to it. And so I'm like, you know, how can I get these stories out? So this accelerator has been great in, I guess, growing my confidence. <laughs> you know, I am, I'm full of ideas, but I don't always have the confidence to implement them. And so I'm learning that if I don't know something, then someone else does. And I can usually find out that information that I need to know, whether it's about business plans or budgeting or things like that. So um, I'm kind of piloting a few things here. You, you can see some of the interviews that I've done, and it's kind of neat to see them in person rather than on a screen. 
Um, but I've also got a magazine. For those of you who like to hold something in your hands rather than just click through and scroll down, um, you can see some excerpts of interviews that I've done. And it's very visual with lots of photos. And uh, it was really fun to put together. And so you can take a look. Um, they're $10. Um, it does cost something to print. But, uh, and the other thing that I'm trying out is one of the goals of telling artist stories is to try to get people to, to buy more, you know, to buy more art and to buy more craft that's made in New Brunswick. And so I know that one of the obstacles to doing that is knowing where to find it, you know, what do I do with it? Um, there, it's usually a little bit more inconvenient, you know, and so I'd like to make it more convenient. So I've put together four different gift baskets of um, all New Brunswick made things. And so um, you can take a look at them later. There's four of each, and they are for sale if you'd like to purchase one today. Um, and you can talk to me about that. Um, so that's, that's two things that I'm trying out on top of the website. And um, as far as other ways that I'm reaching out, I've, I'm collaborating with a videographer who also does studio interviews. Um, I'm possibly going to be freelancing for the newspaper, which would be exciting. And I'm collaborating with the New Brunswick Crafts Council to promote their festivals this summer. Um, and doing some promotion and photography for them. So it's been a really interesting networking experience and really neat to, to meet so many creative people and people who are passionate about sharing the stories of artists. And so um, I'm really grateful for the accelerator. It, it came at the perfect time where I was just playing with ideas and didn't really know how to make them happen and gave me the, the, the tools really and, and the network opportunities to, to do those things. And so I'm really thankful for that. And uh, so yeah, check out createdhere.ca and discover some New Brunswick artists. <laughs>